Hey there everybody, this is Ira, and I'm here again with another new indie game. Well, not so new this time. Folks, this is Of Gods and Men, The Daybreak Empire, and this one, I have to admit, it's sort of from my... My, my pile of shame. <laughs> I've got, I've, I, I get so many games that people ask me to review, um, which is very kind and generous of them to, to give me a chance to play their games, but sometimes they, they get a little bit buried in the stack. This one came out a little over a year ago, and my apologies to the developers for taking so long to get around to it. Sometimes it happens. I'm doing my best to get back to these older games now. It is clearly fully released version 1.1.0 here. Um, I did jump into this one very briefly when I first got it, before I got distracted by all the other stuff going on out in the world and in life and things, um, but I don't really remember what happened, so I am gonna, uh, start over from scratch, and we'll do basically a first look, not completely blind, but fairly blind, uh, first look, and I'm planning on playing about an hour of this, and, uh, just sharing my, sharing my experiences with you. So, first thing we always do is go into the settings, right? We've got difficulty. Chill, normal, hard, and European extreme. <laughs> Europe, not just extreme, folks. European extreme. Um, I'm not sure what that means. I am going to leave it on normal. Looks like uh, we can toggle instant move. Wait, something just flashed up there. Oh, here we go. Skip movement animation for units. I oh, will leave it. We'll leave the animations on for now. Automatically select. Okay. The tooltips are a little bit finicky. You have to keep your mouse completely still. It seems them to come up and then they disappear real easy um i've got this on full screen super ultra quality i meh and super ultra i'm not really sure what the difference could be this is a pixel art game um disable attack meter oh, again it's real hard to keep that pop up okay i'm just gonna not touch my mouse removes reaction based attack meter system in favor of presumably weighted random attacks uh, i'll just leave that however it is now i don't know what any of that means uh let's start a new game Let's see what this is all about. This is a... It's a strategy game, I guess? Is that the term? Floating in the space between spaces, there is an egg. An egg with the yolk of a golden sun around which circles a single small world. And on this world, stretched across the continent of Tamira, there is a war. Oh, dang. Very nice pixel art, I'll give them that. Mortals, birthed and blessed by the gods, live locked in a never-ending holy war. Moved by the unseen hands of divine inspiration and ritual, they fight like pawns, but die like people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> On the edge of civilization, the god of the open sky and the god of mountains have contested their heroes. And the god of the open sky has emerged victorious. A warrior king of the Issa tribe returns home from the Hugin city-states. Hugin? Let's go with Hugin. Laden down from the, with the spoils of war. And most importantly, accompanied by a royal hostage. <gasps> hostage. Young, scared, and angry at the circumstances that have led her to this, the girl rides to an unknown fate in an unknown land. But what she cannot know, that her destiny will change the face of the world forever. She, what she cannot know is that her destiny will change the face of the world forever. Why am I always finding- I'm always finding grammatical errors and typos and things. I know it is my job as an editor to notice these things, but... Um, I'm just always surprised that no one making the game noticed. So 15 years later, so we're basically, we're in Whoville here. We're living... Oh, hold the line, they're coming around the flank. Oh, we got combat. Olgin, they're close to breaking, child. Uh, by the way, I do want to pause here for a moment and just mention these bars on the sides here. This game is in a square window. Uh, nothing I can do about that as far as I can tell, so sorry about that. I know the bars on the sides are ugly, but it was that or, or only give you the middle strip of the screen <laughs> like they did with the Simpsons thing, so let's not do that. Okay, I'm putting you in command of the reserves for the final push. Uh-oh. This is Saga. Yes, my Khan, I won't let you down. Do you require guidance before we begin? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll take a tutorial, thank you very much. Always love a good tutorial, me. Loading up the tutorial? Okay, here we go. Olgan, before a battle begins, you should be sure to position your army to prepare for your attack. Select Saga to place her. Okay. Select either an occupied or an unoccupied purple placement tile to move the selected unit. If the tile is occupied, the units will trade positions. Um, so I guess... I guess, uh, I guess I meant to put, put her here, huh? <laughs> There we go. Select the ready button to finish placing your units and begin the battle. Well, since this is the tutorial, 
I'm, can I, how do I move the, oh, okay, we got WASD to scroll around the map here. Got a decent size, oh, we, we do have a decent size, I do love the pixel art, folks. I am enjoying the pixel art thoroughly. Oh, are these the enemies? These are the bad, these are the badins. Okay, um, I don't know, I, I don't know what my strategy is yet. I'm just gonna hit ready. Your turn. Good. With our preparations complete, it's time to face our foes. I love Olga's little smirk on his face there. Select Saga with the left mouse button to move. Done it. The blue tiles can be moved to by the currently selected unit. That is an awkward use of the passive, but it is grammatically correct, so I guess kudos? <laughs> a unit can only move a certain number of steps each turn. The red tiles that display when hovering over a blue tile show locations that can be attacked by the selected unit from that tile. Yikes. This is some complicated grammar, folks. Move Saga towards the enemy unit. I guess I guess I gotta move her here. Okay, so those red squares are the squares that Saga can attack. You better believe I'm gonna keep pronouncing it like that. Okay. A unit move may be undone by pressing escape or the right mouse button. This will only work immediately after moving. Cavalry units are able to continue using their move points even after attacking. To attack a unit, select the attack command... Okay. Attack. Enemy units on red tiles can be attacked from the selected unit's current position. A unit can only attack once per turn. Select an enemy unit to attack it. Once an attack is started, you will see the attack meter. Ooh, do we have some skill-based combat here? After the meter starts, click the left mouse button while the pointer is close to the target. Oh, we do have some skill-based shots. Okay. I, I love these, and they also terrify me because I'm usually not very good at them. The closer you are to the target, the more damage your unit will do. With excellent precision, your unit will deliver a critical hit. I gotta get better at this. I haven't even done it yet, and I already know I gotta get better at it. If the attack meter completes one cycle, i.e. moves all the way to the right, then back to the start, your unit will automatically perform a weak attack. Alright, so you only get one shot. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance. Which one of these do I wanna, do I wanna hit? How much damage do I do? I do three damage, I think? A little sword there? This one's got 11. This one's got 9. It's flashing the infantry. I, I think there's a rock, paper, scissors thing in here. So I think the archers are good against the cavalry. The cavalry is good against the infantry. And the infantry is good against the archers or something like that? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh, so we got this red, red arrow, yellow... Red arrow, green arrow. Hmm. Alright, well, let's, let's click the thing it's telling me to click. Skill shot. Oh my goodness. That was fast. <laughs> the attack meter's speed will vary each time it is used. Stay on your toes. I thought that I was. Goodness gracious. After a unit has moved and attacked, you may select the wait command to leave the unit alone until your next turn. I guess that's what I gotta do. Excellent form. <laughs> was it? I don't think it was. There are three unit types, Archer, Infantry, and Cavalry. Oh, here we go. Each type has an advantage over another. This advantage will allow a unit to deal extra damage. Archers, with their superior range, deal extra damage to Infantry. Aha, that's why they had me attacking the Infantry. Oh no, the Archers attack the Infantry. So I, I should have attacked this guy. Infantry with their Fearsome Spears deal extra damage to Cavalry. Cavalry with their superior mobility deal extra damage to Archers. Why'd you have me attack the Infantry tutorial? Come on. Various faction exclusive special units may circumvent this system. Let's worry about that later. Cavalry archers are unique to the Issa faction and pair ranged attacks with the ability to hit and run. Is that what I am? They have poor armor, though, so keep them out of harm's way. Well, then why is she way up here in the front lines? She'd be ready now, child. Let's go. Oh, so that wasn't real. That wasn't even real. Okay. Um, the game has not told me that I can use WASD to move around and look at the screen, by the way, which is kind of important, I think. I am the Chosen of the God of Gods. Our victory is his will. Well, we'll see about that, Gola. He's regrouping. Form up and prepare to charge. Um... I feel like, um... I still feel like I, I... Like, I understand the mechanics, but I feel like I'm not gonna have a good sense of the right way to do this until I've played a lot. So I'm just gonna... I'm gonna take what it gives me. And hope for the best. Teggy's turn. Whoa! They move fast. Run. Quickly. Go. Okay. They moved. Now it's us. Let's do it. 
I can't believe the Khan's given command to her. Excuse me, guard. I'd rather shovel- Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <clears throat> than follow a mainlander. Haven't I lived here for 15 years, you racist jerks? That can be arranged, now do as your order. That's right. Thank you, Olgan. I appreciate that. Yes, my con. I'm sorry, my con. Yeah, you better be sorry. Okay. So this is... I don't know how to read all the info yet. This is like the boss, right? Gola. Looks like a uh, cavalry with a spear. Cavalry infantry, maybe? This is cavalry. Infantry. We gotta do this rock, paper, scissors. Archer. Infantry. So against the cavalry we want... I've already forgotten. Cavalry's good against archers. Archers are good against infantry. Infantry's good against cavalry, yeah? I got that right? Man, I hope so. Um, infantry. Hello, friend. Can you get close enough to... You cannot. Oh, you're not very good, though, actually. Okay. How about you? Uh, we won't keep you out of this harm's way here, I guess. We'll keep you towards the back, because presumably they're going to come closer next time, right? So I'm going to put you back here. You wait. I don't think we need to try to get closer to them. They're coming to us, right? It doesn't look like they've got one archer who can shoot pretty far. But we're not going to be able to get this archer right now anyway. Olgan. You got a, you got a real short range there as well. Um, we should probably split up, right? Split up, make them choose where they go. This one, okay, this one has got a pretty, pretty good range on it as well. Is that the range of their attack? No, that's the range of their movement for next turn. Okay. Hmm. I don't know, I kind of just want to, like, chill where we are. Hulgan <laughs> is... Is just a cavalry? I don't think he's an archer one. Yeah, he's, he doesn't have the archery thing going on. You know what? Just wait. I think, I think I'm just gonna end my turn and let them come to me. I don't see any advantage whatsoever to moving closer to them. I'm not good at this type of game, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. I don't usually play these types of, these types of games. Whoa! Dang! My, that guy just died! He's dead! Okay, okay, look, listen, listen up, dude, um, we need to punch you into your face. Attack here. Do six damage, or do they both take damage? I'm a little bit unclear on that. Oh man, that is real tough. Oh, they both do damage! Okay, I'm learning. Um, that was not explained. Um, cavalry. I want to get you to that archer. I'm gonna bring the cavalry down around the outside here. You can wait there. You got a you got a good range on the attacks. Um, stick you right there and have you shoot shoot at this dude. Can I shoot at this dude? Yeah, I should be able to, right? I'm only gonna do three damage, though. Ooh, I'm getting better. Four damage. Okay, well, that was not amazing, to be honest. Uh, Archer. You're real good at what again? You're real good at hurting the horsies? No. You're real good at hurting the, the soldiers. I'm just gonna have you attack this guy. Yeah, it's... We're not doing a lot of damage. Is this one of those battles that you're meant to fail? <laughs> Maybe? Okay. You wait there. Is that everyone? I think that's everyone. There isn't like an indicator of who's already gone. Oh, they can move again. She can, she can move again. Not, not this guy though. Nope, they can't do nothing. Alright, well I'll say goodbye to this friend here. They're done. Critical. Ow! Shot me in my ankle. Uh-oh. Keep that archer safe. Definitely gonna keep that archer safe. Alright, um, we got this. We can do this. I'm still so confused about what's strong against what. 
This dude here is real good against this one. Can't reach him. Alright, I'm just gonna move back. Shoot whoever I can reach, which is this one, I guess. Dang. Man, I feel real underpowered here. Alright. This is gonna kill this one, yeah? Nice. I killed someone. Actually, that doesn't feel that doesn't feel good. I take back that that whole nice part. Um Can I get Can I get that that archer maybe? Who can I who can I hurt real good? <laughs> Kill this one? Not really. Can only do three damage, no matter what. Well, do it, I guess. Oh man, he shot me! He shot! He shot back at me! That was me. Do I have anyone else who can do a thing? You can move a space. No, that's not useful. Wait, I guess that's everyone. Oh man, we're we're short on on people. I guess maybe I should have gone for the weaker ones instead of- Oh! Oh no! Oh no! This can't be the end! Game over?! Are you kidding me?! That was way too hard for a first fight! I guess retry! What am I looking at here? Hold on. Okay, seriously, what am I looking at? I don't know- I don't know what I'm looking at. Oh, God. I don't know what I'm looking at. Alright, main menu. Exit. Exit to title. Yeah, quit, because I, I... I think something's... wrong there? Because I haven't been taught... They, they were doing real good with the tutorial. Okay, good. We get skippable cutscenes. I appreciate that. They were doing real good with the tutorial, and then, um... When I died in the very first battle real fast. They were like, okay, we're just gonna dump you on a screen you've never seen before. It's really complicated and confusing. That's not the best. Okay. I do not require the tutorial anymore. Issa, get ready. I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so this time, I do want to keep this guy a little bit further away, I think. These infantry, they, they got just immediately murdered. Like, like, hide you behind the tent there? Or the house? I'm not sure. They look like tents to me. I don't know what they're meant to be. And maybe put my, my long range, my long range folks where they can, like, actually hit these guys as they come closer? I'm learning something. Oh, no, wait, these... Okay. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Archers are good against the infantry, right? I mean, I could go right here and shoot that one, but then this this dude's gonna die just immediately in the next turn, right? Is there anywhere else I can go where I can shoot someone? Doesn't look like it. There, I guess. Shoot this one. No, that's not gonna be great. Well, do it anyway. Ooh, I was close to the target that time. Okay, you wait. All right. We're getting this. We're getting the hang of this. Um, I'm gonna hide these dudes. Because they died really fast last time. <laughs> um, I don't want this guy to die either, though. I want to go after the, um, the little ones. The ones I can actually kill. This guy's good against archers. If you go there and attack this one. They'll die. Yeah, I want to do that. Let's do that. Yay! Now, get the heck out of dodge. Well done. Okay, okay. I'm getting somewhere here. Um, I would like to shoot this guy down there, but if I do, I'll probably die in the next turn. So how about instead of that... Come down here, shoot that dude from this way. Shoot you in your face. I'm not gonna do a lot of damage, so I appear to be very weak. Okay. You can't get close enough to do any good right now. 
So just maybe come down here and hang out. And you, I guess, also come down this way and hang out. Hide behind the tent so that archer doesn't get you. Get in the hang of this. I'm terrified to hit this button, but let's do it. Aw, oh, man. Nice. Alright, folks, we got this. We got this. It's just us and this dude right now. So, uh... I do think, I do think this dude is going down. This is going much better. <laughs> Yes! I did it! Bah, you're only forestalling the inevitable. Disagree. The god of gods has shown me. I will conquer. Ah, uh, you're dead. So, conquer your way back to the hole you crawled out of, coward. <laughs> Victory! I did it! Okay, I survived the very first <laughs> encounter of this game. Well done, me. <laughs> Are you okay, sir? Oh, I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure nothing terrible is about to happen. I'm fine, child. Just a cough. The traitors have fled back across the river. You did well, child. Thank you, my Khan. I sense something troubles you, child. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm honored you put me in command. It's just, um... I'm worried some are reluctant to follow me. Like, you remember back a few minutes ago when they were like, I would rather do some unspeakable thing than, than follow her? You remember that? I just, I gave you the impression that maybe they don't want to follow me? I don't know. Because of who your family is? Saga, you've been one of us since before some of these whelps were born. Your authority comes from your brain and your bow, and my trust in you. Hmm. In fact, I have a mind to name you as my successor. E excuse me? I'm serious. I don't know what to say. Surely there's someone else. The clan would never accept it. I'm the bastard of the Hugan Lord Mayor. They would laugh. Never heard that word used for a female before, but I don't see why it wouldn't. They will if I tell them to, and will accept happily when we win this war. You're the daughter I never had, and you're a far better leader than I ever was. I trust you. I don't know about that. They all seem pretty happy to follow you. <laughs> there is time to think about it. If Kangola is right, and it's the god's will to conquer us, it may not matter. But if not, this is the chance to prove yourself. I understand, sir. I won't let you down. Do my best. Alright, so here's this screen again. The cowards burn the bridges behind them, and the river is running too high to ford. <laughs> if we ferry across, they'll cut us down. What if we go north around the highlands? We might be able to hit them where they don't expect it. And if we fail, it leaves our lands undefended. That doesn't leave much room for error. Then we won't fail. Yeah, sure. What could possibly go wrong, etc.? Okay, so now we get this tutorial. From the world map, you can create units, build buildings, and maneuver your armies. Oh, wow, so this is a whole, like, management game as well. Do you require guidance? I sure do. Please guide me. Gold is used to create new units and to build and upgrade your buildings. You can see your current gold as well as your gold production per turn at the bottom right of the screen. Down there. Got it. Click on the ISA territory to enter territory management. Okay. Gold is generated by mines and by faction-specific special buildings. To begin creating units, you must first create a building. Build a barracks to enable the creation of infantry units. Okay. Uh, built. Creating units will help bolster your army, but each non-character unit will cost gold to maintain. You can check a unit's upkeep cost by placing your cursor over a unit on the left side. Create an infantry unit. Not gonna, it's not gonna let me do the things until I finish the tutorial, huh? Okay. The Issa have a unique building called the Tower of Silence, which allows the creation of a Cavalry Archer. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Cavalry Archers and other special units cost more gold to maintain. Be sure to diversify your army. All of these buildings can be upgraded, allowing them to produce higher level units. Units present in the selected territory will be listed on the left. Okay. All units that are able to move will be selected by default, as indicated by the green border around them. Your selected units can be moved to any adjacent territory, or through any number of connected territories you own. If a territory is garrisoned by enemy units, you begin a battle. Neutral and unguarded territories can be freely claimed to expand your empire. Currently, there are no enemy factions aiming to claim your territories. Be prepared, however, as this may change. Oh my goodness. The command button allows you to maneuver your units. 
It says move, not command. <laughs> Click the move button to direct your selected units to move to West Erkic. Okay, can I make more units first? No? You're not gonna? Alright. Finally, select the territory you'd like to move your army to. Okay. Ategi. I guess this is where they want me to go since it's flashing. I'm clicking. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why was this one flashing? General, the Western tribes have decided to lend their strength to ours. They've also granted us some of their gold to help replenish some of our army. Nice. Good. We'll need all the help we can get. I fear the Easterners will put up more of a fight. Okay. So now we're in West Erkic. Here we go. Now I can actually see stuff. So these cost 100 per turn, 100 per turn, 100 per turn. Zero per turn, because it's a character. Zero per turn. Um, this mine has given us some money. I would like to upgrade it. Can't use the mouse wheel. Okay, there we go. Had to uh, put the focus in here first. Alright, um, I guess build a barracks. No, barracks is for infantry, right? I wanted to build that special one. Seems like it won't let me do that. Scrolling is weird. They don't have a kind of smooth scrolling. I'm being nitpicky. It's a pixel art game. Alright, well, we don't have any archers, so I guess build an archery range. Give me an archer. There we go. They cost 100 per turn. This is gonna get expensive, isn't it? So we got one, two, three, four. 400 per turn. And I'm only earning 75 per turn? So I guess I need to upgrade this mine. Alright, I guess I'm gonna take my dudes and move them to East Erkic. Looks like there's only four people here to defend. Okay, Issa, get ready! Is this the- okay, I think this is the entire- This is the entire screen. It's a very small combat screen. Okay. Will I be able to do much to, to this dude here? Probably not enough. Uh, let's go for it. Oh, so close. Nice! Pretty happy with that so far, tell you what. I just want these guys to hide. <laughs> they feel so useless. Alright, you come out now. You come out. Get out here. Oh! Right in the knee. I love that I get a counterattack. Oh yeah! Oh, we got this. <gasps> yes! I did a critical! I did it. <laughs> Okay. Let's attack you. Oop, I did not get critical that time. Ow! Don't shoot back at me. That's not how I wanted that to go at all. Get these guys out here. Maybe I can maybe I can take this jerk out right now. Probably not. Yay, I did it! I'm a winner. We got XP's. I don't know what that's for. General, they dispatched riders back to the Ategi capital, but we intercepted them. Good job. We'll leave at nightfall and catch them unawares. Wahaha. Okay. So I have seized East Erkek now, which is great. Um. Oh, oh, oh. Those tooltips, man, they're tricky. Real tricky. Okay, plus 600 per battle for mines and special buildings, minus 400 battle for unit upkeep. Oh, okay, so that plus 200 isn't how much I'm getting per turn, it's my net income. Okay, that's fine then. That's, that's cool. I'm good with that. Um, I guess I want to diversify, right? Can I... Let's get some more money. Right? I might as well make some more money. And then let's build another archer? Okay. So now it's nighttime. we're gonna come down here and take these- take these ones? Let's- let's get them. Get them, boys and girls. And non-binary characters. Hey, 
Whoever's here, let's get him. So Khan Ulgin is so frail he set his slave princess against me. You know that's what he sounds like. Shouldn't you be on some mountain sipping wine with your servants? I just want to punch your face so much. Wine tastes best paired with victory. Why don't you surrender and I'll raise a toast to you? Cretin. The god of the open sky has shown me the downfall of your tribe. All the better, I start with the captive bastard. <laughs> There's bad words in this game, folks. Did they tell you you'd be killed by that bastard today? Maybe check your crystal ball again. Okay. Alright. We can do this, yeah? We got this. Um, it's a little bit dark and hard to see, which I don't appreciate. I mean, I know they're going for atmosphere, but it does make visibility a lot harder. All right, let's go here. Shoot an arrow at this one. Not too bad. Can I shoot another arrow at that one specifically? No, I cannot. Can I get... They hit, they hit all their archers real good. Let's bring, let's bring everybody up undercover here. All right. I don't know if I did that good, but... <clears throat> yes! Critical. Ow! Well, still died. Such a shame. Haha! -ha. This guy is so great, I really wish he wasn't about to die. <laughs> it's just annihilating the entire other team. All by himself there. Good job there, buddy. Now get this jerk. Just get him. That wasn't great. That wasn't great at all. You might say that was really pretty bad, actually. Let's shoot this jerk. Nice. I'll get back. <laughs> Alright. He's down to 15 HPs. He can do 13 even without a critical hit. If this guy does a critical hit, he'll die. Alright. Time to be brave. Oh, man. Okay, I still won. B but it was foretold. I saw it. Well, get your eyes checked. Now, let's just uh, take care of this little fella here. Really? I'm gonna stick you right there so this jerk can't go by. <laughs> Mm-hmm. How come I don't get to shoot back? I got a bow. How come I can't attack? How come I have to move first? Boom. I am the winner. Awesome. My con, we've won the day. I'm sure nothing terrible is about to happen to you. Well, well done. <laughs> Sir, you're bleeding. It must be all those arrows you took, and also swords. It's all right, child. This is my time. No, don't say that. We can find a healer. Also, you're the only unit in my entire army who's worth anything. My child, the Khans know. You're to lead. You're the only one who can. Don't go. Help. I need a healer. Medic! Aw, sad face. Two years later. My Khan, another envoy from the Katiji, is requesting an audience. Tell them my answer hasn't changed. We can't spare a single soldier to help them. I told her, Your Grace, but she's proven quite... Persistent. Spelled incorrectly. <laughs> Let me through you. Oh, goodness me. I need to talk to her. Where is she? Okay, hold on a sec. Um, over here. Shoja. 
or Shoya, depending. Um, you are awesome. I love everything about your hair is awesome, your tattoos are awesome. You're awesome. Can I play this one? I don't want to be this one anymore. I want to be this one. Kansaga. It's an honor to make your acquaintance. Likewise. And to whom do I owe the pleasure of having my tent barged into? Just, just giving that a quick grammar check in my head. Hold on. That's actually correct. That's one of the most awkward sentences I've ever seen written in English, and yet it does appear to be grammatically correct. Well done, writers. General, I'm gonna go with Shoya. Shoya Laboya of Katia City. I come on behalf of the Katiji. Oh, but if it's J, okay, Shoja. Katiji kingdoms to ask. Look, I know what you come to ask, and you know my answer. The Issa are sorry to hear of your plight, but I can't sacrifice two years apiece to send my people to die on the mainland. But we're being slaughtered. Everything east of Katia has been overrun by Tuga Crusaders. We flee the cities just to be captured by raiders and pirates. We can't feed the refugees. Please, I'm begging you. I'm sympathetic to your plight. Banners bearing the Dragon God have shown up on my own shores and carried off my own people. But my mind is made up. Please leave. My guards will accompany you. Hint, hint. Aw, no! You heard what happened to your father. You heard what happened to your father, the Lord Mayor of the Huga? My birth father. Yeah, that's right. I'm adopted. Proud. Your birth father and your elder brother. Half brother. <laughs> Half brother are dead. It said your younger brother. Half-brother had them killed to seize power. The lands across the channel are in chaos. What of it? You have a stronger claim than him, even if you're a bastard. If you can defeat him in the field, the city is yours. You've brought an unprecedented peace to this island. Why let it stop here? Hmm. And if you do, you'll have the full support of my people. But first, we need your help. I could... No, I can't put my people at risk. I'm sorry. By right, the Hyuga are your people, and mine could be too if you aided them. Peace is possible. Hmm. Please? <laughs> I'll call the council. You'll have an answer in the, in the morning. Thank you, my Khan. Don't thank me yet. <laughs> you won't regret this, my Khan. We should leave at once. Okay, oh, the map has gotten much bigger. The treacherous Katiji of the Duval Islands have taken up piracy to profit from the chaos. It might need to be subdued. All right, um, I think I'm gonna end this here. I've already been going for quite a while. Um, I've been playing for close to an hour now. Um, this, uh, there's some depth to this game, clearly. I feel like I've basically finished sort of the prologue here. So this is my, my lands here, and then... Yeah, this, 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 this will take some time to get through. Um, but yeah, it's, it seems like a pretty complex and in-depth game. There seems like there's a lot going on, there's a lot of strategy. I'm not particularly good at this type of games, as you might have noticed, uh, because I just don't have the experience with them. Uh, but from my uneducated perspective, my ignorant perspective, um, yeah, it looks pretty good, actually. It seems compelling, it seems like there's there's enough to keep you interested there. I don't know how it will progress from here, but this is just a first look, so uh, there you have it. So uh, that's of Gods and Men, the Daybreak Empire. Uh, that is out now and has been out for a while. Again, apologies to the developers, but uh, now I've played it and I like it. It's, uh, it's pretty good. I like the I like the pixel art a lot. It's really nice. Um, there you go. If you're into this type of game, this is available on Steam. I'll put a link in the description like I always do. And of course, folks, if this is not your cup of tea and you have no interest in this type of game, do not worry. You know I'll be back very soon with another indie game. You never know, that one might just turn out to be your new favorite game. Thank you so much for watching, my friends, and I will see you next time. Hey. Thanks for watching, guys.